Hello, this is Marfan Incorporated doing some shell scripting. Just a little bit of shell scripting today. As you can see. So I'm just going to close it, what we were just working on. This is our code. Our entire code, which are, we're going to change in a minute. That's right. Now, what does the code do, Mr. Brown? It makes it makes it random and stuff. And it's about over 50 lines of code. It's over 50 lines of code, but what does the code do? What is it? It's beat the bank. It's beat the bank. What's beat the bank? Um. Is it like a is it like a worksheet or is it is it like a is it like a map or like is it? Is um, it's something that we something that we play. That's right. It's like a game. It's a game that we play. And what you do, see right here, would you like to play Beat the Bank? And what you do is users get to choose whether or not they want to keep going for higher and higher scores, but it's a random, as you can see here, random determination of whether or not they will uh, be able to keep going and increase their score. It's a little game that we play here at school. Hit morning announcements. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to create a shell script that um, that launches it right away. So let's go ahead and open up Terminal. Yeah. So in Terminal, let's navigate to the directory of which we want to make the shell script in. So right now, where are we? We are just at our home directory. Let's navigate to desktop and let's see what's on the desktop. Let's move. Can we move into the beat the bank folder? Is that okay? The, the shell script? Yeah. Should we just put it there for now? Or do you want to put it on the desktop? I'll leave it on the desktop. Okay, desktop it is. But how do you make it so it's like in the exist? Uh, how do you make it so it runs in the existing directory, like at default when you run the program? I'll show you as soon as we get there. Now hang on. Hold your horses. We're going to get there real soon. Let me just open up the terminal a little bit bigger. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit nano. Uh, nano is just a text editor. Of Hello. course. Yeah, and it's one of your favorites. That's good. And what should we call the file? Uh, test. Test. Test beat. Test beat. Test beat. Eats, 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 eats. Okay, so now we are in our um, text editor and we are going to create our little script. It's only going to be two lines. It's going to be super, super simple. Now what we want to do is wherever we run this script from, we want to launch the Beat the Bank game. But that how do you make it so it runs like on the directory without specifying? Now here we go. Here's what we do. Like we, where the file is by default. That's right. We do cd, change directory. Of course. And we do we put in the tilde sign. That means that indicates we go to the very home okay. of the computer. And then we're going to find where the file is. I know it's on the desktop. And I know for us, the file we want is located in a file folder called btbm. Stands for Beat the Bank Mosaic. And there it is, btbm.py. It's a Python file. So we want to go desktop, btbm, forward slash, uh, oh no, just btbm. That's where we need to be. For our next line, do we want to launch the game. So what so would we write in? Python. Python. B btbm. I'm just making sure that here I, I copy the name exactly. Okay. You don't need to copy the cases on there. Yeah, but. Yeah, well. It looks better though. Old habit. Okay. So it does look better. Um, now, at this point, I'd say we're good to go. Uh, so I'm going to hit Control X for exit. And Y for save. And Y for save. That's right. Very good. And then hit enter and then do. And then double click on it. And then. Now, wait, hang on. Let's try that. There's our friend Test Beat. We just created it. Let's double click on it. <gasps> it opened in text edit. I wonder what happened there. Now let me explain what happened. We created a file, but we didn't tell the computer or the operating system what the file was able to do. What we need to do is we need to tell the operating system that that file is in fact an executable. Do you know what an executable is? Yeah, like that's something that runs. Exactly, it's something that runs. So. Here we are back at terminal. Let's just make sure the test beat is on where we're at. And there it is. I see it right there. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a command called change mod, C-H-M-O-D. 
that means we're going to change, that stands for change modifications, and you can change readability, writability, and executability, RWX. Uh, and it gets complicated, and there's a bunch of different things you can do. But for this, all we want to do is we want to add the ability for that file to execute. So we do change mod plus X. The plus X means add an executable. And then we want to write in test beat. Now let's go back to our desktop, and we'll see something kind of neat. Test beat, the icon has changed. It's changed to what looks like an executable file, which is pretty neat. So what we're going to do is we're going to close out a terminal, the shell, double click on our executable, and it runs the game. Way cool. All right, that is our tutorial for this afternoon.